Hey YouTube, it's Lee in a fishbowl. Yes, it's me. It's been a very long, long time. Um, probably six months. Um, so I figured it was time for an update. I've had several people saying, hey, you need to update, blah, blah, blah. And um, I'm messing with this already. Um, so I'm going to try my best to do that right now. And I'm going to try to do it in 10 minutes or less. Um, it's going to be kind of hard to recap the last 10 months, I mean, six months in 10 minutes, but here we go. Okay, so let's go back to <laughs> my last, I guess, IUI was in like September. And so we um, did really good, had four follicles, two on each side, and it was a BFM. So we did not get pregnant, and I have um, medicines left over even like right now in my... Um, refrigerator so um yeah so we decided to take a break um not necessarily because we wanted to but because schedules um dictated that so we had um something during my fertile time in october in november and in december so the plan was to come back and start with a new iui in um january that's bothering me do y'all see that <laughs> anyway i'm gonna pull it out but um, I think most of you follow me on Facebook, but if you don't, um, you really need to um, because I did an, I did um, announce that I was pregnant in um, January. Um, so let me back up and kind of go over that. Um, I'm not pregnant right now. I did have another miscarriage, so before y'all get all excited if you didn't know, um, it didn't work out again. But um, so here's where we're going to go. I'm going to pull up my little fertility friend app right now and kind of go back and tell you kind of just the basics of what happened. Um, and I need to quit saying, um, don't I? So our cycle started in December on the 4th. And um, we went through Christmas and everything was just lovely. We had a great Christmas, had my family over here, and it was just fabulous. Um, we squeezed in a few sessions. I had four days of positive ovulation test, and it was really weird. Um, not really doing anything specific. I had started a low carb diet the month that month, so I had been on the low carb diet about three out of the four weeks. Um, the week before this cycle started, we went to Disney World on a Thanksgiving trip, and I did not do the low carb there, obviously. And so we came home and I started my cycle and I got right back on my low carb. The goal was to stay on it and then enjoy Christmas Day and then get right back on it again. Um, so I do really well with that. I do good with, and, and it's not the best for the ketogenic lifestyle, and I'll get into that in a minute. But um, for me, it was like, at least I can do it for three weeks. Then we go to Disney World. Then I come back and I can stick on it till these, you know, to Christmas Day. And it gives me kind of mini goals. And so... That was kind of what we were doing. Christmas came. I, um, I had been really good for those three weeks from when my cycle started till Christmas. And then Christmas came and I ate what I wanted that, that like those few days. And then I was getting ready to start back on it. And I got a positive pregnancy test. I actually got the test was positive at nine, approximately eight or nine DPO. I'm not really sure because I had four days of positive ovulation test. I don't really know what my ovulation date was. So anyway, the long story short is I had a positive pregnancy test on the 28th of December. And so I had a beta and my betas, um, just to read them to you, let me pull those up. Sorry, I should have had this pulled up. Here we go. My beta, um, at like nine or 10 DPO was 15.8. Um, I had gotten a very, obviously it was very early. I was not, I mean, I was like four days, four or five days before I was even late for my period. So even though that was low, it was, it was fine for how early I was. And then it went to 27 and then it went to 56, 53.6. And this was every 48 hours. So it was just a hair lower than doubling in 48 hours, which is completely normal in the window. But I get, I never had betas with K2, and I didn't even have betas with my first loss that went to 15 weeks, but all my other pregnancies, I've had betas, and I know just most people's, 
doesn't mean that you won't have a successful pregnancy if your betas don't double as quickly, but most people's betas double much quicker than the 48-hour window. So I was a little nervous about it, but it was still going on track, and I was very hopeful at the same time. Um, so then it went, um, we had a three-day span, and it went up to 140. Um, so it was still in that window. It was a little low, but it was still in that normal window. My nurse said, everything's still okay. You're doing fine. Um, I started Lovenox because I have MTHFR. I'm homozygous for the C677T version or gene mutation. So I started the Lovenox as soon as I got the positive pregnancy test, which is why we did these betas so early. Um, and then it, I, I don't have the rest of them in front of me right now, but then it started to fizzle. About, um, which would have been about 19, 20 DPO, it, it started not doubling at all. And then it would go up, but it would just go up a little bit, and it was very aggravating. Um, we knew at that point it was not viable. I um, had to wind up going to see my OB. This new RE I'm with is not like the RE I had in the past, and so I had to go to my OB because my RE does not handle the miscarriage portion. So they did a, um, a couple of scans. They saw a very, very tiny, tiny, tiny little place that the sac would be. Um, in the second scan, it showed that it was lower in my uterus. She said, and I had been spotting some. She said, you're probably getting ready to miscarry any second. And it was like literally the next day I had a good bit of cramping and more bleeding. And then it just stopped. Like the bleeding stopped. So I called her. She had said to come back in a few days and let's check again. And if not, we'd do a DNC. But I called her and said, my bleeding has stopped. I really think I probably passed it. And so she took another beta and it had just dropped drastically. So we knew that it was finally, had quit climbing in, you know, like millimeter climbs and it dropped. So we knew that things were getting better. And so I finally um, finished with that. And I guess that would probably be mid-January. So, um, no explanation for why I miscarried, but more than likely, you know, I'm 40 years old, so here we are. It's probably crappy egg quality, um, combined with who knows what else. I'm still, um, not sure about any immune issues that I may have. I'm getting ready to finally do the NK cells testing before I do my final IUI. We do have enough medications to do one more IUI. In the meantime, I'm doing my low carb diet. The, I'm doing low carb, high fat, ketogenic diet. Um, there are a lot of girls on here doing it. Carissa is doing it. Um, Shannon is doing it. So um, uh, there's uh, and Diane is doing it. There's a bunch of people that are following this diet, and I've been very happy with how I feel on it. I've not lost a lot of weight. I've lost about four pounds. But part of that is because I started a new supplement, of which now I'm off of. <laughs> this is kind of crazy. So let me, I guess, jump here. Um, after the, the miscarriage, my doctor said I had asked about the DHEA. Um, and my RE said, yes, if you want to try it, try it. She wanted me, they wanted me to do the CoQ10. I've been doing that. Actually, the ubiquinol form, which is the even better form. Um, been doing that for a long time. So I said, you know, what else can I do? So they suggested the DHEA. They did not want to test my levels, which really kind of bothered me. So I started it, and I started out slow. I added 25 milligrams a day. Then I went up to 50, and then I finally bumped it up to 75, which is what they typically want you to take. Um and I just so happened to have a, a, um, a physical. Okay, y'all, I'm at nine minutes. This is going to be more than ten minutes. I'm sorry. Um, so I just so happened to have a physical schedule for my insurance company. It's required. And I asked her to do testing on my testosterone and my DHEAS levels. Um, and unfortunately, my DHEAS level came up very high. Um, she didn't want me on the medication because my cholesterol is a little high, too. And she says that that supplement in particular can contribute to making it higher. So, you know, you take the DHEA if you have low levels. And if mine were off the chart high, I really didn't need to be on it. That wasn't the reason for my poor egg quality. So I weaned myself off of it and I stopped it last week. The DHEA, however, can contribute to weight gain. So I think that 
probably, even though I was doing the low carb, high fat diet, I wasn't losing weight because I was taking this supplement. It was kind of counter reacting. I wasn't gaining any weight, but I really was just stalled as far as weight loss goes. I lost about four pounds to begin with when I took it, but that was before I started the DHEA. Um, so, yeah, so I'm just now officially off of it. I would like to do a video of what I'm taking now. If anyone's interested in that, leave a comment below because I'll be glad to do one. I'm taking some new things for egg quality, um, and I'd be glad to share that with you. I just started them like yesterday. No, sun yeah, yesterday. No, Sunday. Sunday. They came in through Amazon on Sunday. Um, so I'll, I'll be glad to share exactly what my supplement list is. If anybody's interested, just let me know. Um, so the plan is now, as far as TTC, um, to continue to eat low, low carb, high fat, moderate protein food to see if I lose any weight, um, but to especially get off the gluten. Um, I know I probably should eliminate some dairy, but on this particular diet, it's very difficult to do that. So I'm just going to work on the gluten for now. Um, and then if we need to do dairy later, I will, but for right now, I'm not doing, I, I need the dairy in this diet. You depend a lot on um, you know, real butters and creams and cheeses and things like that. Um, not huge, huge amounts, but they definitely come into play. Even like ranch dressing has dairy in it, and I do use that a lot. So, um, yeah. My husband, on the other hand, has lost almost 30 pounds. It's like incredible. It makes me so mad. Please, give me a like, a, a like if you agree. Why is it that men can do the exact same thing that women do? Like, we've eaten the same foods. I've eaten less. And he's like just melting away. It just makes me so mad. But he looks really good. And I'm very proud of him. And I'm, I'm so thankful to have the support. Um, the first time I started it back in October, he was really not on board with it. And then I don't know what clicked, but something clicked. And he's he's been much better about it. Um, so, yeah. I'm glad about that. But the goal is to stay on that diet and to continue to take these supplements over the next few months. And then probably the end of May, beginning of June, um, somewhere in there, wherever my cycle falls, we will do our last IUI. Why IUI? I mean, I know I've had seven and they've all failed. I've never gotten a positive pregnancy test on anything like that. It's always been natural. I don't know why. It's set for, we have it. It's covered by insurance. I have the medicines in my, in my fridge. So why not? Um, as far as deciding on whether to do IVF, we've pretty much decided against it. Um, financially, uh, number one, it would be a huge stretch for us financially. But number two, the odds are not in our favor. Not at 40 and not with the RE that I'm with. It would take going out of state to some specialized clinic, which we definitely can't afford, um, to get a special protocol for someone with diminished ovarian reserve for someone with low AMH like me. So I just feel like I can get pregnant, but it's it's the quality of my eggs. And, you know, even Mari said there's not a lot that the, the shots can do to improve the quality. It's toss-up. It's a toss-up. So why spend $17,000 for something that I can toss up and do here at home? I mean, we've, we've gotten pregnant, you know. This was our seventh miscarriage. We've had seven pregnancies in the last five years. That's more than once a year sometimes. So, you know, so that's where we are personally. I don't know that we will pursue IVF. Um, we have looked at donor eggs. We've looked at embryo adoption. And we're not there yet. I mean, it's definitely in the back of my mind. I don't know that my husband will be there. I'm, you know, just leaving that in the Lord's hands. We're praying about that, um, and then of course there's regular adoption. There's a ton of options, and then there's just being satisfied with being a family of three. And you know we will cross that bridge when we get there. I don't know when that will be. Um, maybe after the next IUI, if nothing pans out. I don't know. And just you know we're just kind of going with our heart right now. So that's where we are in TTC. So I really won't have anything major to update on my TTC life until. Maybe May, unless the Lord blesses us and we get a pregnancy again. And, you know, hopefully it would be sticky for one day. I don't know. Um, 
As far as immune things I did do with this last pregnancy, I know some of you asked, did I do anything immune-wise? I did do the Lovenox. I did do high levels of folate, not folic acid, folate. I can do a whole other video on that if you want. Um, I did do um, a low dose of prednisone, and I did the um, antihistamine protocol with that, um, the Claritin and the Pepsid. So um, that was kind of my immune thing. I started that as soon as I got my BFP. And that was, that. I mean, really, that's, that's all I can do without having a doctor who believes in immune issues, which I don't. There's no one around here. I would have to go two states, three states away to find that um, and to get intralipids and that thing. I can't, I can't access that here, unfortunately. So that's out of the question. But I did try those things with this last pregnancy, and I would try them anytime I have a pregnancy. So... We'll just see. I really feel like it's kind of like Russian roulette. You just, you just, you get pregnant and you either get a good egg or a bad egg sometimes. And I feel like that's kind of where we're at right now. And just maybe if the Lord wills it, we'll finally get another golden egg like K2. And we'll just have to wait and see. Um, so yeah, that's where we are. That's me. <laughs> um, chugging along, doing, keeping ourselves busy. We've um, you know, we had annual passes to Disney World this year, and we'll probably renew those again in June. Uh, we've had some great trips with some family members, and, and it's just been fun. And we had a nice November trip right before Thanksgiving and enjoyed that. It was probably our most favorite trip ever. Um, so we went October for a very short trip, and that was a, a, a disaster because my husband, husband was sick. Um, and then, we, of course, we went right before Thanksgiving, and then we went um, at Mardi Gras, which is President's Day weekend, which was last month. So we've had a great year. We're, you know, my husband's doing good in his job. Um, my son is doing great in school. He's in another play. You know, he loves theater. So, you know, that's all going well. I'm um, getting geared up for the summer. You know, I direct a summer day camp, so I'm getting ready to start that. Um, registration starts in April, so I'll be hit, hit head on. And then on top of that, I was asked to be the um, president of an auxiliary for our theater company, so I'm starting that. Um, so I'm staying busy. I'm doing, you know, lots of things just, just to be a normal life. So I guess that's it. Um, I've enjoyed. I, I am on Facebook still. I did get locked out by the Facebook police because of my name, so I had to change it to another random name. But um, I am back on there now. I am on Instagram, so you, I occasionally post pictures there, and I love to follow people, so holler at me there if you want. Um, I'll post the links to those down in the description because they probably need to be updated. I don't know if when the Facebook police got me if that changed my link or not, but I need to fix that in case. Um, yeah, so we're just chugging along, you know. Um, Easter's coming up in a few weeks, and spring break, and I plan on doing some serious organiz organizing during spring break. Um, our house is like, it's the drawers and the closets that have stuff in them that are driving me nuts. So I'm going to do that soon. But other than that, we're just hanging in there. All, even our old dog, Pouncer, he's doing okay. He's knocking on 15 years in July. It's hard to believe. And he's rolling. So, um, yeah, I guess that's it. I just, I'm sorry I hadn't been on YouTube a lot. I just hadn't had a lot for y'all to hear about except for that BFP and I, I, I kind of went through all of that on Facebook with it, all of you unless you don't follow me and so it was just crazy um it was a very you know being right after Christmas and school starting back and then my son had a theater conference in Atlanta it was just like I felt like until it was resolved it was no use in having a video but then it it was crazy anyway so I apologize for not updating sooner um there any kind of videos you'd like to see if you'd like to see me do a video about what I'm taking for egg quality or if you'd like to see me do a video about um, anything just holler at me um, yeah because I'm here and I'd be glad to um, my son did start a new YouTube channel so you can check that out I'll put the link down below in the description box he started a toy review channel so if you have children they would love this because he like picks random toys and he reviews them. He's done Play-Doh eggs and he's getting ready to do one for Digibirds for a sweet Liviana, one of our one of my friends. 
daughters. Um, he's going to do some Minecraft videos soon. He's got some new blind boxes. And he did a couple when we were on our Disney World trip in February. We're real, they're really cute. Um, so please go in and find his channel. I'll put it below. And, and go on and like his channel. Subscribe to it because he that just makes his day when he gets a new sub. So anyway, we're at 20 minutes now, so that's double what I said I was going to do, so I'm going to stop the video now, but I love you guys, and I hope to be back soon with some really good news. Please keep praying for me, and congrats to all you out there that got your BFEs finally. I'm floored, like it seems like on Facebook, it's like every day someone else is getting a BFE, so if you hadn't gotten yours, hang tight, maybe it'll come soon, and I'm going to hang in there with you and hope I get one myself, so we're going we're gonna to hang together, and we'll get this done hopefully one day, Lord willing, but I love you, and I hope y'all have a great day, and check with you soon. Bye.